final leg of the Flame of Hope for the Special Olympic Games. The Olympic torch, which started in Chicago over 10 days ago, finally made its way to Orlando. Torch run, torch run, wave again. And the Guardians of Hope have taken that torch all the way through the city of Orlando today and we ended up here at Orlando Health. So we've been you know, working for a couple years to prepare from a medical side to support the games uh, and just to see this come into fruition and seeing everyone running through our campus and seeing our team members line the streets to celebrate the athletes, uh, for me it's, it's touching. We are the Guardians of the Flame! It's a culmination of so much work that Orlando Health has done. Uh, we put together a great team to make sure we can provide the best health care possible. Uh, that the Olympics have ever had. Uh, couldn't be more proud to be a part of it. It's an it's a incredible team effort. Special Olympics is focused on inclusion, and when we think about Pulse and we think about the aftermath, you know, um, if there's anything that can be learned from that tragedy, it's that we need to love one another and really include everyone in our community. Diversity and inclusion is more than just intellectual differences. And, and as a society, if we can open up our hearts and minds to people who are different, we're all going to be better off. I think it's that spirit of inclusion uh, that makes me the most proud to be a part of this. If I look back professionally in my 18 years at Orlando Health, this is probably one of the most rewarding things I've been involved with. And, and the thing that I've been most impressed with is how every team member that's engaged in the process has been 100% in. I say to the athletes, be excited, be brave out there next week. And most importantly, have fun. You got it!